Elon Musk's multinational companies are not designed simply for making money but with unique and numerous applications. Neuralink is no exception. In this video, watch to find out what Elon Musk just officially revealed about Neuralink's update. Welcome to Elon Musk Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell icon to get updated with Tesla, SpaceX, Starlink, and everything about Elon Musk. It seems that next year will be a very successful one for Neuralink regarding the brain-computer interface. For the first time in a long time, Neuralink has made headlines and Elon Musk has been active on Twitter about it. Currently, he's reporting that the clinical trials of the brain implant device should begin sometime in 2022. In that case, that would pretty closely align with how things have unfolded so far. The first glimpse of Neuralink was in 2020, then in 2021 when we got the Mind Pong Monkey. So 2022 would be a good year to see Neuralink in a human. The brain-computer interface industry appears to be accelerating very rapidly. This technology is certainly coming, but it's just a matter of when it will become widespread. So let's talk a little bit about Elon Musk's revelation about Neuralink recently. We'll also talk about BCI's current state and Neuralink's plans for 2022. Recently, Elon gave a 60-second overview of Neuralink's plans for 2022 during a conference hosted by the Wall Street Journal. For us, it's not enough time to cover it all, but Elon elaborated more on what he envisions Neuralink to be able to achieve over the following year. Ultimately, he expects human trials to happen within that time frame. He said, We hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have severe spinal cord injuries like tetraplegics, quadriplegics, next year pending FDA approval. The company has already seen success from their monkey experiments, which is what he is basing his confidence on. Neuralink has worked well on monkeys, and they are currently testing it extensively and verifying that it's safe and reliable, and that the Neuralink device can be safely removed. Regarding safety, Elon assures us that Neuralink safety standards are higher than those of the FDA. According to him, this is the same approach Tesla uses to create crash-safe cars. Tesla vehicles meet or exceed NHTSA safety standards for 5-star ratings. He finished his all-too-short remarks at the conference by saying, I think we have a chance with Neuralink of being able to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. I think we have a chance, I emphasize a chance, of being able to allow someone who cannot walk or use their arms to be able to do so again naturally. He then added, I don't want to raise hopes unreasonably, but I'm increasingly convinced that this can be done. The discussion continued on Elon's Twitter account on December 6th when a user wrote to him about Neuralink. I seriously hope it gets to the point where Neuralink could help my husband, like with memory and delusions. Why not? The part of his brain that is dead just needs to be replaced. Elon responded, Replacing faulty slash missing neurons with circuits is the right way to think about it. Many problems can be solved just by bridging signals between existing neurons. Progress will accelerate when we have devices in humans. Hard to have nuanced conversations with monkeys next year. He's talking about how the brain transmits electrical signals through a network of connected cells known as neurons. Within your brain, there are 86 billion neurons, each with a unique function, but most of them are similar. In theory, Elon says that by using electrodes to create a bridge, we can get the signal over the broken connection and get it to where it needs to be. This isn't an easy thing to accomplish by any means. And Elon went on to say in a separate tweet, I'm not saying that we can for sure do this, but I am increasingly confident that it's possible. Neuralink doesn't necessarily invent something brand new. This is because several decades of research have already been conducted in academic laboratories on brain-computer interfaces. In addition, many of the projects Neuralink hopes to undertake have already been validated in academic studies. A unique characteristic of Neuralink is its advances in material science, automation, and chips. Currently, there are a few devices that can record the brain and stimulate it. These are primarily used as part of a process known as deep brain stimulation which can treat conditions like Parkinson's disease. Other devices are being studied for BCI control of movement or sensory restoration. The devices, however, have only a few hundred electrodes, and they are all fixed in arrays or placed directly on the surface of the brain. It uses more than 1,000 electrodes on thin, flexible threads, each individually placed to avoid blood vessels and ensure the region of interest is covered. In other words, Neuralink transmits more information using a much smaller device, Instead of being hardwired into a computer and sitting inside the skull, the link will be connected via Bluetooth. In contrast to currently available technology, Neuralink can be used by patients in their day-to-day -day lives at home. 
The Neuralink system does not require a brain surgeon, as its automated robot imaging systems and software have been designed to accurately insert the threads through an 8mm skull opening while avoiding blood vessels in the brain. The Neuralink device has the potential to interface the brain with an electric device for the first time. An app for your phone will connect the Bluetooth-enabled Link implant. In using this app, users will learn how to control their phones just with their thoughts. After learning to control a virtual mouse in the beginning, users can progress to using Neuralink's adaptive decoding algorithms as they gain more experience. Eventually, they hope users could telepathically control several devices, such as a game controller or keyboard. Several of these applications have already been tested with other BCI devices. Dr. Krishna Shinoy, a professor at Stanford University and Neuralink consultant, recently gave a talk about the brain-computer interface and included a chart that showed how BCI input compares with our physical interface. By handwriting with a pen, the average person can write 13 words per minute. And a touchscreen keyboard allows us to type up to 20 words per minute. Using a physical keyboard, a professional can write 75 words per minute. According to a May 2021 study, users could achieve 16 words per minute using current brain-computer interface software with an invasive BCI implant. We're at the point with BCI nowadays when people can communicate faster than writing, but not as fast as typing with their fingers on a phone. It's their goal to build a communication system that will provide two orders more of magnitude regarding communication channels than currently approved devices in clinical settings. When Neuralink can increase the performance of the brain to text, by even one order of magnitude, the rate will increase to 180 words per minute. If Neuralink lives up to expectations, or even close, then we'd have a method of communication with higher bandwidth than human speech, which is pretty cool. Neuralink does indeed help us achieve a better symbiosis between us and artificial intelligence, according to Elon Musk. And through the use of phones and computers, we've already become cyborgs. As computers and artificial intelligence progress in power and capability, Elon is frightened that artificial intelligence will advance without us because our bandwidth with it is limited. And that would be bad. This is because now computers are gaining the upper hand and humans lose our place at the top of the intelligence pyramid. But regarding Neuralink, the current focus is on making devices that improve the lives of people with broken neural connections and injuries, as well as neurological disorders. It can involve connecting the brain to a limb, connecting the brain to a computer, or just moving one part of the brain to another. We will get very skilled at decoding electrical signals within our neurons within the next few years, and once we understand how that code works, we'll be able to identify the errors and correct them. It's believed that as this technology advances and more areas of the brain are discovered, they'll find new uses for the implants that are not medical. Neuralink's long-term vision is for BCIs to be sufficiently safe and powerful so that healthy individuals will also want to use them. Elon said, these things can probably be tried, but they're not guaranteed to be possible. Recently, he's toned down what he's promising in public about this technology quite a bit. Previously, Elon was explaining that Neuralink would allow us to communicate by digital telepathy in five years so that language would become obsolete, but we'll have to wait and see how things pan out. It would be important to get a person successfully to use one of these, and this doesn't appear to be an impossible feat. We're in a strange new world now, so let's hear what you're expecting from Neuralink in the comments. That's all for this video about Elon Musk, and thank you for watching. If you'd like to receive updates about him, make sure you click the subscribe and bell icon.